Alright, good morning friends. Um, I've got a new tool to try out. Um, this is the Gelot, Gelot 291. Uh, it's a, like a crow quill. It's um, a lot sharper and it's a, a very flexible nib. I, uh, I tried throwing some lines with it this morning. Um, and I, uh, I drew this page yesterday i um, hoping to kind of do a study on rendering, trying to do something like a, in the style of Bernie Wrightson with it. Um, obviously, I'm nowhere near his uh, his talent, but I thought it would be a fun thing to try to use the tools that one of my heroes used. So um, let me try to throw some more lines real quick, try to get a little more comfortable with this. So I kind of got a go back and forth from water and ink to get the um, get the nib going let's see here try a little more water on it all right so let me uh, zoom in here and uh, I'm going to start in this uh, top corner, just kind of making lines and feeling it out and then I'll work my way down so I'm not inking into a puddle. situated a little bit closer to me all right let's try to flick some lines here start with like a little area also I'm working in this area because it's going to be um, blacked in um, between the lines so there's a little bit more room for error All right, just going in straight with ink, it's not really seeming to catch on the paper. I'm using a Eon plate bristle, the HD. So maybe I need something with a little more tooth to catch. Right. Let's keep trying with this until I get figured out with this before I blame the paper, so. definitely a uh, different like it um my hand eye coordination isn't so good with this this nib it's off by just a little bit from where I I'm trying to put the lines so some of them are bleeding together yeah I happened there too Now this thing is sharp. It's just it's a plate bristle and it's picking up uh, paper fibers. I don't know if you can see if I go in close to the camera, but try to clean it off on a piece of scratch paper.
Oops, still catching the paper. I think I got it cleaned up now. I'm just kind of throwing short lines right now until I kind of get a better feel for this. Uh, Amanda B, good morning. She says, afternoon, Skip. Well, I guess morning. Yeah, it's morning for me. Well, or <clears throat> because of my sleep schedule, it's late at night. Oh, good morning, Fanta. How are you? Phantasmagorical is here. I'm trying to use a um, new type of pen nib. Well, new to me. It's 200 years old. Using a Jalot 291 today. <clears throat> and goodness, is it temperamental. to the tip of it. Let's see if I get any better control. mute myself and try to blow on the ink. <laughs>
trying to make sure I stay in frame, just kind of zoning out, trying to use this thing. But I was smart and made a blue line, so I have a, a the original pencils and a, a hard copy if this doesn't go as well as I hoped. So, so I won't have to redraw the page, just might have to re-ink it with stuff I'm a little more comfortable with. So have you guys been um, promoting Groken 3? Looks like uh, Kenneth is uh, uh, Kenneth Rokefort's off to a tremendous start. seems to cooperate if it's got a fiber of paper stuck in its teeth or teens see if that'll help bought a bunch of these things because they're like I don't know 60 cents a piece and not all of them work well but before I went live it seemed to be catching the scratch paper fine so just got to go through some trial and error here get it figured out Uh, Fanta says, Groken looks amazing. I need to get all three books. Yeah, you should do that. Kenneth is one of the nicest people you could interact with. And he's super talented, so... Right. Like, moving around all the over the place trying to figure out how to hunch over and get this thing going. Uh, good morning, Jim Cox. I think Skip was a stonemason in another life. <clears throat> was a a member of the Shelbyville Shelbyville Stonecutters. I saw your post uh, yesterday, Jim. I thought it was hilarious. Like, hey, look, he's almost at fifty thousand dollars. Looks like you don't have to <clears throat> stream drama to sell books after all. I loved that.
Millie J says, Emma says, hi, Dad. Hi, Mama. Saw your drawing this morning, too. Love you. Hey, Shep, how are you today? Hi, Iwatha's here, says, hail the chat. This pen is so weird. It's so just bouncy and uncooperative at the same time. It's like it can make certain lines, but I'm not very proficient with it yet. So if I try to do a certain way, it just kind of like makes a weird J shape. <clears throat> it just has a, a flex and a snap to it. It's odd. See, so like kind of like hooks like a J. Maybe because of the way I hold the pen. Gotta do some experimenting with this thing. Seems like the paper is catching on something. Hiawatha says, getting broken three can't wait. Awesome. are really imperfect but they kind of have a nice a, a bit of a a neat bit of life to them just like with the open spots and the way it kind of drug I can appreciate that <clears throat> gotta find something to enjoy with it I guess yeah, I'm gonna go back up here where it's where I'm in a dry area again. up Phil so here you can go down here for a bit if I can get the ink to start running off Thank you. 
Anyone know if Clinton's doing a fatal tube? I haven't heard anything about that. He just finished sending out, um, I think, the original art tier. But I haven't really seen any new stuff or post about any new stuff. That was still wet. That pissed me off. <clears throat> Man, I was trying to avoid that area. I blame Amit. zoom out more it's because I'm gonna start moving the paper around um Charlie Snogans I don't I don't know what he does in real life I thought he did some kind of graphic design or storyboard work I haven't seen him since the actual campaign of the first book so I don't know if Clint would have to get another artist or how all that goes Get on Twitter, see if his uh, DMs are open. You just got your fatal last week? Jeez, I got mine sometime last year. I don't even remember how long ago it was, to be honest. What books are you excited? Skip to Charlie not have some kind of disease. I, I'm i not the one to tell you. I really don't know. I talked to him a few times because um, he was thinking about relocating to Arizona. And I think that was the only time I ever talked to him. Hey, what's up, Tree Goblin? holding this pen in such a foreign way I'm like s sweeping it out and pushing it at a it's just so awkward so like with a, a felt tip pen I would I usually always pull the lines towards me and this it's like everything has to be in an outward motion it's just so odd it's kind of fun to experiment with Let's see here. Um, it says I was looking forward to Black Flag, Flag, but I have given up on that book. Yeah. Don't blame me for that. It's kind of weird because if you um, if you actually interact with uh, Frega, he's great guy 
like if you ask them questions about art um how to anything like an issue you're having like with figuring out how to do something like he has so much knowledge and he's willing to share it like i hope he gets the book out and kind of I don't know if redeems himself is the right word, but too many line skips start over. Dude, I get paid by the line. Skips dainty hands. <laughs> I have to hold this a certain way. I can't like, I can't move it around like it's a magic marker. I wish I could. I'd just be like snapping the, the teens off of the nib and shooting ink everywhere. Well, good morning, Leroy. Are there any comics you're excited about this week? Let us know. Amanda B, um, please don't shame people for checking out my hands. It's really like all I have to offer on the on the stream. That in tiny little lines. Now get me a beer. Uh, Almut says, I could have put the money on Bitcoin like Mike and been a millionaire. <laughs> yeah. So a little bit of an update on uh, my book. Um, I'm going to start coloring stuff on my lunch breaks at work. Um, I got an iPad Pro. Should be here tomorrow. So on my days off, I'll probably uh, get a couple pages flatted so I, I have them ready to go during my work week. And I'll keep penciling on my days off um, when I'm home. But I want to start doing some stuff with coloring. So... Hopefully I have some stuff to show, some uh, completely finished colored and letter pages um, in the next month. Uh, Skip doesn't think much about Roquefort's art, but I love it. Back Groken 3 here. Yeah. Can this one of those guys where... Um, I'd like to say last year, I kind of discovered him. I said, this Kenneth guy, he's pretty good. I think that's what I said about him last year. Uh, 
Um, let's see here. Manabee says, I enjoyed Jack the Ripper. The art was great. Oh, that's cool. And Phantas Phantasmic Oracle says, Amanda, I'm so stoked. I think that's how you pronounce so when there's that many S's. I'm so stoked. Sounds right to me. Fanta says, bingo. All right. All right. Hopefully this area is dry now. Find out here real quick. So I think this part of this, uh, this stream, um, whatever music that it puts on, the AI music generator, whatever voice is talking in the background of the song, I keep getting a copyright warning for it. It's weird because it's like AI generated royalty free music. Uh, Red, hi, how are you? Um, what did you miss? I am trying to learn how to ink throwing lines with a Jalot 291 pen. Um, I heard about it on an old Bernie Wrightson interview. This is the pen he used to draw the illustrated Frankenstein book in the late 70s, early 80s. And he's a hero of mine, so I wanted to try using the, the tools he used. So um, the composition is kind of uh, based off of one of his illustrations from a different book. But um, the, the picture I was looking at um, for an image of a stone staircase was uh, later on. So it wasn't even inked. It was um, a pencil drawing. Or it could have done, had like an ink wash to it, but uh, Red says maybe the AI voice is a little sprinkle of different people's voice. Um, it could be. It's just weird that yeah, something generated can get a copyright strike. Um, am I going to color it or make it black and white? Um, both. I'll do it colored and then I'll have a, a I'll keep a line art version. Even if it's just for me, 
I, I like black and white art more personally. Uh, Lero says, if you color this book in nothing but brown and yellow, it will look amazing. I'll keep that in mind. Lots of shades of brown and yellow. Oh, I can't just pick one brown and one yellow and just go. Maybe I'll do one cover yellow, call it cover number one, and then do the other cover, cover brown and do it, call it uh, cover number two. Mo Biggs is here. Mo Biggs, would you like to join me? Would you like to come on the, the show? Let me talk about my girlfriend's favorite new show, Demon Slayer. says WTF is that sounds like weeb shit Digging the saxophone in this this song right here. Red says it is weep shit. <laughs> uh, Man of B says hail the Mo. Leroy says it's true Mo. 
Leroy. He has been trashing Roku for all stream long. What? Leroy knows I'm a huge Kenneth Roquefort fan, admirer, if you will. Even try to uh, arrange things for him to go on um, some other channels. Um, hoping to get him a boost in sales. Um, I don't think he's really interested, but but me and Leroy would have been ecstatic if he went on the channel that. Um, uh, we were trying to get set in motion. Maybe it will. I don't want to give it away in case it does happen. Uh, Leroy says, there was no me, that was all you. Well, technically you said you'll talk to Kenneth about it, so I don't know how, ar how hard you can twist an arm, but hopefully you give it, give it your best shot. Billy Baxco, what is up, man? It's been years. How are you? I didn't know you had internet still, Billy. Hope you're doing well. contact with somebody and feel like you're on the Steve Harvey show where it's like some long lost person it's like since I've uh, been streaming this year some of the people that pop in the chat it's just like holy wow like a nice rock to draw on top of. It was around Christmas, that's right. Well, Merry Christmas, Billy.
Billy says, I'm just usually at work when you stream or asleep because you stream like at 5 a.m. Yeah. Stream after work. Try to get that last energy drink from work out of my system. But it's like if I uh, if I play video games after work or something like that, I get wound up. If I do this, I it's really chill for me. It's a great way to unwind. I feel like getting a little braver, throwing out some longer, longer lines here and there. Like the the pen isn't feeling as foreign to me. I'm starting to get a little more comfortable with it. Try to get some more confidence into the lines.
Alright, this thing's just cooking along, trying to just figure out what areas I can do. Uh, it seems to be going okay, just working away from the working away from the puddle. I guess I, um, is what I'm doing. As soon as I get the ink to start coming out.
All right, let's zoom way out and let's dry for a minute. Definitely knocked out a lot of this this rock, right? Morning cough, man. It's going. I'm going to do this one just at a little bit different of an angle because everything's kind of going up towards the light source or away from the light source. I just to kind of break it up, I want to do the, a couple just kind of totally in a different direction. will tighten up the lines, maybe make them a little thicker too, closer together and thicker. Uh -huh. Just a solid black on that side.
seems like at a certain distance away from my body, like the, I get a little more inconsistent. So go closer to my chest, <clears throat> get these ones down here done.
All right, so there's not really any area I can work on without smearing. So I think I'm going to call it a day right here. Probably get back into it tomorrow um, after work again. So thanks for hanging out, guys. I, uh, I had fun messing with the Jalot 291. Um, still have to get more confidence with it um, before I attempt doing any longer uh, lines. But... It's a, it's a fun little experiment. So, probably, I don't know, probably put down around a million lines today, so. Uh, it'll probably just be more of the of the same tomorrow, just working on uh, the the rocks. The idea is um, the light source is going to be over here, so it'll hopefully be a gray and kind of like round into around the cylinder to a black shape, so. Um, that's the intention anyway. So thanks for hanging out with me guys. I will see you on the next one and, uh, make sure you guys, uh, leave a like, a comment, something, um, whether you love it, hate it. Um, and I should go back to, uh, using normal pens instead of this crazy device here, uh, Jalot 291. But thanks guys.